Hey guys, this is Dr. Ryan DeBell from The Movement Fix. And Coach Cody Looney from CrossFit Advantage. And today is day 18 of the 30 for 30 Movement Challenge. And it's Sunday. So a lot of people are going to be at home today, not at the gym. So this is at home shoulder mobility. We got three moves that we're going to do. The first one is the prayer stretch. The second one is flexion and extension range of motion drills with a towel or a belt or something to grab onto. And the third one is the primal pull through. How are we going to implement it? All right. Like you said, we're probably not going to be at the gym today, so we're going to be doing this at home. All you need is a couple square feet, something to move around a little bit, and uh, something to hang on to. So 30 minutes, make sure you get it done before the Seahawks play at 3 o'clock when they whoop up on the 49ers. If you're a Broncos fan, um, don't worry about it. Um, 30 minutes, put the time in. You're going to take us tomorrow. The first thing we're going to do for the at-home shoulder mobility is the prayer stretch, which you've seen before. Now you're going to see why it's actually called the prayer stretch. We're going to do this. You can do this on a bench, a chair, side of your bed, whatever works for you. Kind of looks like we're praying. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. You can move the width of your elbows closer or further apart, depending on the comfort of your shoulders. After we hold this for 30 seconds, we're going to come up. So come up out of this. Now, we're using a shirt folded in half. You could use a towel, or you could do this with your hands held together. But go ahead and stand up. We are going to grab this so the palms are facing each other. And she's going to go 10 pulls up over her head as far as she can. Good. Back and forth, 10 reps, all the way up, all the way down. It's important here not to tuck the chin down, but look straight forward. Good. After 10 reps there, we're going to do the same thing, except she's going to put the towel behind her back, the towel or the shirt, and she's going to pull backwards up towards the ceiling as far as she can. Now, it's going to be very tempting for a lot of people here to round the upper back and go like this to try to get range. That's the opposite of what we're trying to do here. When you go backwards with your arm like this, we should have extension through here. So make sure you're looking forward and think about what this is doing here. Pull the hands up. 10 reps. After that, we're going to the primal pull through, which we've seen before. Now, when we set this up, it's easiest if you just go into your normal push-up position first. Some people call this in the yoga the downward dog. We're repping it. We're calling it the primal pull through. So she's going to go and put her butt up towards the ceiling, pull her chest through, thinking about her chest going towards the ground. We're doing 10 reps. Go ahead and come out of it. Show us three reps real time. That's two and three. Go ahead and relax. So we're going to work through that cycle at a comfortable pace for 30 minutes. Let's do it. That was the prayer stretch, shoulder flexion and extension drills, and primal pull-throughs. And as we said before, may not be at the gym today, especially because the Seahawks are playing, but make sure to get this in 30 minutes at home. All right. Make sure you like and share this video so you can help us change the world one air squat at a time. Go Hawks. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow.